Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than I can't wait to see Josh Brolin in action as Cable. I'm your host, Ares Quinones. Before I get started, I want to let you guys know in Florida, who are in the path of Hurricane Irma, that we're thinking of you and we'll be here when it passes. Stay safe. Now, it's become sort of a thing here on Variant that every few weeks we talk about how strong or powerful a particular character is in the world of comic books. Well, today, we're putting Deadpool in the spotlight by listing several instances in the comics that show just how strong and skilled he is. As for raw strength, he's not by any means on par with the likes of Hulk or Thor, but he has been stated to be able to lift two tons in the Marvel Handbook. In fact, when he was disguised as Spider-Man, he was able to move around a flying helicopter with his webbing, even if he did say his muscles were literally exploding while doing so. Again, he doesn't have many feats of sheer strength, as that's not what Deadpool is all about, although he did once throw Goliath at Hercules like he was a ragdoll. Anyway, his main attributes are incredible durability and high-level fighting skills. Now I'm gonna assume that none of you have ever strangled someone, at least I hope not. But I think as morbid as it might be, it's not exactly an effortless or easy thing to strangle someone with your bare hands. Deadpool, however, did it with just two fingers, his index finger and his thumb. That's both intense and impressive. Also, Crossbones is known as one of the most ruthless mercenaries in the Marvel Universe, but Deadpool easily beat him senseless. Even more impressive than that is when Deadpool KO'd Taskmaster with a single punch. He literally made him see stars. This is incredibly impressive because Taskmaster is one of the best fighters in Marvel, as he can mimic the fighting style of any character. Clearly that didn't help when fighting Deadpool though. On another occasion, the Merc with the Mouth casually caught a punch thrown by Wolverine and then pulled his gun out on the Weapon X members while still holding Wolverine's fist. That's all kinds of nuts. Then there's a time Gambit paid off Deadpool just so he didn't have to fight him. Sure, Gambit was extremely tired after a previous fight, but either way, you know someone is deadly if you're paying them off so you don't have to fight them. Besides being a complete badass and one of the best assassins in comics, Deadpool's real strength comes from his incredible durability. I mean, the guy has one of the top five healing factors in all of comic books, on top of being granted immortality by Thanos. Although Thanos did take back the curse in Deadpool vs. Thanos issue 1. He literally says, quote, once I cast a spell of darkest necromancy and cursed you to undeath, Wade Wilson of Earth. I gave you eternal life, but for your effrontery here today, in my very own sanctuary, I take back my gift. But with that aside, check this bullcrap out. Deadpool can survive explosions strong enough to destroy entire dams. Magical blasts also don't affect him. His friend Weasel also said that nothing short of a nuke would take him down. But guess what? Weasel was wrong because he later regenerated from a nuclear explosion. This next time is one of my favorites. It's the time that the Hulk punched Deadpool through a building so hard that it literally killed him. Deadpool even asked Death, am I dead? To which she says, yes, but only momentarily. Soon your healing factor will drag you back into the world of the living. And that, it did. Hulk clearly wasn't happy about it, so this time Hulk punched him so hard that he literally exploded into a thousand bloody Deadpool chunks. But Deadpool still regenerated. The only thing crazier than that is the time Deadpool regenerated after he was literally fried into ashes by Thor. Again, Thor used lightning to fry Deadpool into a pile of ashes, and Deadpool still regenerated. That's just ridiculous. Sure, it took a bit longer than usual, but the point is, you just can't keep the Merc down even when you cremate him alive. Now, I can keep rambling on and give you all several more instances of how insane Deadpool's healing factor is, or how good of an assassin and martial artist he is, but I think you guys get the point by now. He's incredibly powerful in the sense that you can't really get rid of the guy. I'm not saying he can't be beaten because he has been beaten many times. In fact, I just talked about several of those times. I'm just saying it's extremely difficult to do so. Now, many of you are probably wondering why the heck I haven't mentioned Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe yet. Well, that's because the story isn't based within the main Marvel 616 universe. It's based on Earth 12101. So considering it's not in the main Marvel continuity, there was not much sense including it. Plus, there's also a Punisher Kills the Marvel Universe series. They're more like fun what if slash Elseworld stories more than anything else. Regardless, Deadpool is one of the best assassins in all of comics, as well as being an incredible fighter. But again, it's his incredible healing factor that gives him almost an endless amount of opportunities to defeat someone. You know what it's like? It's like when you'd be playing Contra on NES, and then on the title screen you would press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start, to get 99 lives, so you could play almost forever. Yeah, Deadpool has that cheat code. So how powerful is Deadpool? Extremely. But what are your favorite Deadpool moments? Let us know in the comments section down below. Also, we want your input for the next How Powerful Is episode. So we placed a link in the description for you guys to tell us which character you'd like to see and why. Then we'll pull the top five characters from that and put them up for a vote next week. I'll also add that by clicking the link, if you be worthy, you shall be granted the power of Thor as an added bonus. Other than that, we'll see you next time when we talk about all things comics.